You're watching KFES 12, your live, local, late-breaking source for news with Marianne Maloney, Jeff Cunningham, Bob Reeves, and Todd Richards. Now, Parkland News at 10. Yeah, you know, I think golf is just is the perfect fit, um, you know, for a sporting event to be held downtown. The future of a heartland landmark of history gets help from some golfers playing through the state streets of Cape Girardeau. Good evening. Later this month, parts of downtown Cape will turn into a nine-hole golf course. That sounds like heaven. Every <laughs> town should be like that. <laughs> but before you start boarding up your windows, it's actually an event to help the Red House, uh, which honors the history of Cape Girardeau and the Lewis and Clark Expedition. Ryan Tate's live in downtown Cape, equally adept with microphone or golf club, but Ryan, why golf? Well, that's a very good question, Jeff, because consider this. Golf really wasn't played in the United States when Lewis and Clark were exploring the West. In fact, the first golf club as a facility wasn't built in the United States until about the 1880s. That's 80 years after Lewis and Clark were here in Cape Girardeau. History lesson aside, golf is about to help the future of the past. So you don't mind having a sport that wasn't even around back then be the fundraiser? No, not really. Not Jane Randall Jackson is the chairman for the Red House Interpretive Center. Organizers started a foundation to help with the future repairs of the building and then also develop displays. Right now they have $21,000. They hope to collect 100000 I think the, uh, the players are going to see lots of, of downtown they've never seen before. because Charlie Herbst calls this part of Cape Girardeau home. It's also his ward on the city council. He helped organize the golf tournament to raise money for the Red House Foundation. He also scoped out the holes. Let's go show me the golf course. All right, let's go. Play some let's this. I can't have a coat on. Oh, come on, ladies. Sit. Oh, nice. <laughs> It's a very scenic golf course. Pebble Beach, Augusta National, Cape Girardeau. Yeah, we've got it finely groomed. <laughs> oh, good shot. That's a good one. Good shot. Good shot on the sun. Oh, oh, thank you. Good shot. Yes, sort of. That's good, game, game. Charlie. Thank, Thank you, you very sir. much. I You're appreciate welcome. the round. Thanks for coming out today. Good luck. Match in a tie. Golf tournament is set for June 25th. You can contact the Downtown Convention and Visitors Bureau for more information. You might have noticed we weren't uh, really using any greens there, just kind of picking out spots. Well, they'll have some greens available. As for golf balls, these were the balls we were using. They were supplied to the organizers by a company out of Colorado, and they'll be supplied to the players as well. But you do have to bring your own golf clubs. Jeff, lesson after the show. <laughs> I was about to tell you, see me after the show. I know some things in your swing. No, thank you very right. much. I'll make sure I look, I'll look forward Maybe to that. Maybe you should lesson. use that, uh, that little ball thing all the time. Maybe we can hit it around the station a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Ryan, thanks a lot. People in